The Radeon RX 5700 is a mid-range graphics card that was originally released in 2019. It's one of the top tier cards in AMD's RDNA series, just behind the RX 5700 XT in terms of performance. Both the 5700 XT and 5700 are popular choices for those building budget gaming PCs. Today I wanted to test the RX 5700 in a few titles and evaluate how it holds up in 2024. The car that I have here was purchased as part of my PC flip up series, with a new episode hopefully coming out in the next week or so. I got a bundle that included this MSI Mech OC RX 5700, a 600 watt 80 plus gold power supply, and 16GB of Corsair LPX RAM, all for $140. From what I've seen on sites like eBay, in the used market, the RX 5700 typically goes for around $130 to $150 depending on the model. For that price, you're getting a capable card with 8GB of GDDR6 memory on a relatively modern architecture. The RX 5700 comes equipped with 2304 shading units, 144 TMUs, 64 ROPs, and 36 compute units. It runs with a base clock of 1465 MHz and a game clock of 1625 MHz boosting up to 1725 MHz. The memory frequency is 1750 MHz with the 8GB of GDDR6 running on a 256-bit memory bus. The RX 5700 also features a modern set of graphic features and API support. In terms of power consumption, the card has a 180 watt TDP, which equates to a suggested power supply wattage of at least 450 watts. In terms of relative performance, the RX 5700 is in the same tier as cards like the GTX 1080, RTX 2060, and RX 6600. While these cards can handle higher resolution gameplay in many titles, I believe they are best suited for 1080p gaming which will be the focus for today's testing. My test bench features the Ryzen 5 5600X, 32GB of DDR4 RAM running at 3600MHz, with all games stored on a PCIe Gen 3 NVMe drive and Windows 10 as the operating system. I believe this setup represents a reasonable and realistic pairing for the RX 5700, while also ensuring that the GPU is the bottleneck. I will be utilizing a lot of graphic setting presets, as well as built-in benchmarking tools in a few titles for today. I started by testing the RX 5700 in Counter-Strike 2 using the very high preset on the Dust 2 map in a practice match. This resulted in a smooth, high refresh rate experience, averaging 182 FPS with acceptable percentile lows. In Fortnite, using DirectX 12 with the medium preset, the test yielded a stable match with an average of 81 FPS. If you were to use the RX 5700 with more competitive settings, the frame data would likely improve significantly. Personally, I prefer testing Fortnite with a mix of performance and enough graphical fidelity to maintain a lot of visual quality. Grand Theft Auto V sits at the maximum graphics setting, including the advanced options, delivered an impressive test run. Frame rates range from the 70s to the 110s, with an average of 91 FPS after about 10 minutes of driving around various locations in the city. In Cyberpunk 2077, I used the high preset at 1080p native resolution instead of the default FSR upscaling. After the test run, I averaged 87 FPS with a consistently smooth output that should meet anyone's needs in 1080p. Forza Horizon 5 also performed well, using the ultra preset in the benchmark resulted in an average of 77 FPS. Dropping to the high preset would likely boost the frame rate closer to 100 FPS. I tested Baldur's Gate 3 using DirectX 11 with the high preset at 1080p native resolution. In a fairly intensive area, I averaged around 65 FPS with a few dips, but during most combat scenarios, the frame rates climb higher. Compared to some low-end hardware I've tested with BG3 recently, this was a refreshing experience. The last game I tested was Black Myth Wukong, the newest title in my lineup. With a medium preset, TSR, and frame generation disabled, the built-in benchmark averaged 47 FPS. While this was the most challenging result so far, it was still playable for most. Achieving a solid 60 FPS should be possible by optimizing a few more settings. 
After working with the RX 5700 for a while and seeing these results, I can confidently say it remains a great budget option for anyone looking to build a solid 1080p gaming PC that can last for a few more years and handle both new and older games. Pairing the 5700 with something like Ryzen 5 5600X like I did, or even a 3600, offers excellent price to performance value. That said, a used 5700 XT often costs only slightly more and delivers around 10% better performance across the board. There are also many other budget options under $200 that might be similar or even way better than the 5700. Nonetheless, it remains a top contender on any list I'd make for a used budget GPUs. Moving forward, I plan to feature the RX 5700 in my flip up series, which I will hopefully get back on track with soon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions, suggestions, or alternative card recommendations to the RX 5700, feel free to drop them in the comments. Thank you.